once in a while we stumble across a yard that has a specialty in a particular type of flower and we get the opportunity to share that with you. This yard has quite a variety of iris in it and uh, they have everything from real short Siberian or Arctic iris up to some iris here that are uh, over waist high. There are also a variety of colors from whites to even black and every color in between. The native iris that we have in Wyoming, you'll see near wetlands, is usually a blue iris and, and fairly short. Many of the other characteristics you see about iris is some of them have real ruffly edges and some of them have uh, smoother edges to their petals. And sometimes the top petals are a different color than the lower petals. So we get a variety of colors in the garden with a fairly easy to grow plant. These actually grow from a rhizome and they are ones that need to be split every so often because if they get clustered together too closely, uh, they don't get as much water and nutrient as individual plants need. If you have questions about gardening iris or other flowers that you'd like to add to your garden, check with your local extension office for details on how to grow those different flowers. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman, and you're watching From the Ground Up.